Hey y'all, Bodie Drake here, host of Public, the outdoor show that focuses on hunting and fishing public lands. Duck season starts this Saturday, and I'm a little bit behind the game, but hey, I'm pulling out my duck calls, starting to blow them, and uh, seeing how they sound, starting to get ready for duck season. Uh, this is my Mondo, I blow it, I really love this call. Uh, but when I pulled it out a few minutes ago and started blowing on it, I just felt like it was missing a little something, like some little luster was gone, I don't really know. It's a little, it seems like the reed might be short or it just doesn't have the bottom end it did last year. So let's crack it open and take a look. Um, it's always a good idea to take a look at your calls before, holy cow, before you go out there and get a feel. This has got to be why. If you take a look at this reed right here, <coughs> it's chipped from where I've been blowing it last year. And it's missing a, a 30 seconds of an inch. It makes a big difference on a duck call reed. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and swap this reed and this cork out. If you're not keeping your, co your, your, your cork wet all the time, you're going to want to replace it uh, pretty much every dry wet cycle. Um, keeping that cork wet will keep it in really good shape. And then even if you keep it wet every week or two, you might want to replace it. Um, again, you don't have to go through that. <coughs> but if you want your call to sound best, you will. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull this reed and cork out. So I'll just take my knife, push it out, and that come out pretty easy. So that cork right there is pretty much spent. If you're just into calling and you're not worried about competition calling, you know you're going to want to replace it once or twice a season. If you're into competition calling, you're going to want to replace it before every competition. I can promise you that. So I'll crack open my trusty box here. Take a look at what we got. I got a standard Mondo reed here. I got a standard R&T cork. So I'm going to take a look at this reed, if you flex it a little bit, the bow's on this side, I'm going to put the bow down on the tone board side, and you want to stick this reed all the way up against the back of the tone board there. You don't want to leave any gap. So back when I started competition calling, I started tootling around with my call to try to make it sound better, you know. Get a thicker reed, get a longer reed. And it just wasn't sounding right, it was a little flat. So I called up a very wise man and asked him, Hey, I, I'm, I'm tuning up my call and it's not sounding right. You got any longer reeds or any thicker reeds? He told me real quick, hey man, everything you need is right there in that call. Tell me how you're tuning it. And I told him I was pulling the reed out a little bit to get a little long reed. And he said, that's your problem right there. If that reed is not flat up against the back of that tone board, it's going to kill your tone. So make sure the reed's flat up against that tone board. And then uh, we'll look at lick that cork to give it a little moisture there. Some people like to chew on it. I don't. I like my cork to be good and tight. And you just slide it in, in this gap here. Take the back side of your knife. Mash it down. Get it in there good and tight and flush. You want to make sure you read straight. Read straight there. And then you want to trim this cork right here. Careful not to cut yourself. Make sure it all goes back together right. <clears throat> Put it back in the barrel and give her a toot now and see how she sounds. It should be get, should be nice and snug. When you get a new cork in your tone board, it should be nice and snug as it goes in the barrel. You can feel a new cork as it goes in the barrel. Oh, that's nice. That's nice and tight. Yeah. So that call got a lot more uh, deep in on it, and when I hit the really hard notes, it was really aggressive, and that is the sound I'm looking for, man. Uh, duck call sounds so much better when you replace that cork. So if you guys haven't changed your corks, you know, follow my little tutorial here and uh, check on your corks to change them out.